Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. What's going on? Today I have something really cool to share with you. I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own custom frames. You know the custom frames in Canva that you can put any image or background into them. So I'm going to show you that. That's the first thing. Then I'm going to show you how you can create your own stack font, slice your font inside of Canva. And then I'm going to show you how to turn around, make it an image and make it a mock-up. It's going to be a jam packed tutorial, but it's going to be fun and you can make it your own and make your own custom design. So without further ado, because I don't want to hold you, we're going to jump right into desktop mode and jump right into the tutorial. Uh, let's go. So I'm going to start and create a fabric today because I love the site and this is where I get all my commercial free fonts, all of my graphics from. Everyone is always asking me. I've done plenty of videos on this site in the past, so I have full tutorials already. I'll link them down below, but you can always sign up for free. It's commercial free fonts, commercial free graphics that you can use and resell for your business. It has mock-ups, it has tutorials, it has videos, it has thousands of fonts. There's a creative fabric studio there's so much here so right now they have an Easter deal going on for all of you who are already subscribed if you add on an extra year if you pay all together yearly it's $3.99 a month but if you don't have the subscription I believe it's like $4.99 so you just pay $47 for the entire year if you want to renew so you pay $47 for the entire year if you pay all up front. I believe in paying for things up front because you save a little bit of extra coins. But either way, this is where I get everything from and the link will be down below in the description box if you're interested. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just going to dive right in. So if I scroll down really quickly, it always gives you like a preview of some popular fonts, popular designs that you can use. They have bundles. They have so much. I'm telling you, I live by this site. If you have never heard of Creative Fabrica as of yet, you need to get your life because this site is where it's at. So since graduation season is right upon us, I'm just going to go right ahead and I'm going to make something for graduation 2024. So I'm just going to type in senior. You can type in anything that you want to try to bring up something and see if they have it here. So I'm just gonna put in senior 2024 and let's just see what comes up. So as you see right away, they have bundles, they have all different types of t-shirt designs, they have tumbler wraps, they have pretty much everything that you need to make something, okay? But what I wanna do is you see they already have some templates that you can use for custom Canva frames and you can add in your own photos into your own custom frame. So as you see, they have all these different files that you can use for your senior ideas, whether it's for t-shirts, whether it's for tumblers, whether it's for fans, anything. You can use any of these images, right? Some of them already have the Canva frames, like right here on the left-hand corner where you see the senior going down, where you see the senior 2024 with the cap, and also some of these. But you can take any of these, pretty much any of these that are all black, and you can turn them into frames. But but um, I'm going to show you how you can make one from scratch. And I kind of like this idea right here with the senior 2024 shirt at the top right. I've seen these already like on Etsy, um, but I want to take and create my own style. Now you can download this. You can um, probably transform it yourself using just the numbers, but I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself and create your own custom frames and turn it into a photo frame like this one here. All right. So I'm not going to download this one I already have it um, but this is where you can get a lot of the files from I just wanted to show you that so this file does come in a PNG and an SVG so you can use this as a cut file you can use this as a sublimation file you can use it you know with your white toner or with your DTF anything but I'm going to show you how you can make something custom just like this inside of Canva and turn it into a custom frame so now let's go ahead and jump into Canva so as you can see I've been making some of my own and now I'm going to show you how you can make your own as well. So I've made a few and I'm going to be selling these. These are going to be up on my website that you can download them and you can use them yourself. Really low prices. So if you want some of these custom ones that I made and I'm going to be making some more, definitely stay tuned. So I was already playing with this file. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. So this is the original file that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. But when I cut this and split this, the back kept showing up. So I'm just going to do it from scratch. And that way I can show you how to create it yourself. So when you want to come in here and you want to find frames, just in case if you're just looking for frames, I'm just typing in the left hand corner frames. 
and pretty much all the frames I'm gonna click on see all all the frames that looks like this with the clouds these are all the custom frames so if you take any of them let's just take one for an example I'm gonna put that here I'm just gonna to go to my uploads grab a photo and you can put it in you can swap it in for backgrounds pictures anything you like so now I'm just going to right click and I'm going to detach the image and then delete it and then you have your frame so this is what you want so I'm going to delete this one and I'm just going to now come in here and create my own frame so if you don't find the shape or the style you need that's already here you can create your own frame with a vector file image not a clip art image you need a solid black so as you see they already have some numbers but I want to try to replicate this so I'm just going to type in my own so I'm just going to type in my own I'm going to expand that and I'm going to type in 2024 and now I'm going to choose a font that kind of looks similar to that and out of all the fonts that I have on here I don't have anything close enough to this so I downloaded another font from Creative Fabrica called JB Sport so I'm just gonna upload it into Canva so I'm gonna click upload gonna go to downloads JB Sport and I'm just gonna bring this into Canva right now so now it's uploading and now I'll have another file that I can use so the fonts are always sectioned off into like recently used your brand kit and then you'll have your uploaded fonts so it should be here let's look for it right here JB Sport that's close enough it's not the same but it's close enough so we're gonna use this one and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this and now if you have Canva Pro you can download it and save it as an SVG you're gonna need to save it as an SVG so you're going to click share and you're going to come up here where it says download you're going to click the drop down and you're going to drop down and save it as an SVG the crown lets you know that it's for the pro version so if you don't have the pro version you can always sign up and you can tr um, do a trial free or you can just upgrade your plan so I'm going to go ahead and save this now and now I'm going to hop into PowerPoint so now I'm in PowerPoint I have a blank document all you have to do is just remove the titles and I'm going to click on insert insert picture from this device and now I'm going to find the frame that I just created and here it is so now all I'm going to do is click convert to shape and now as you see it has like little boxes around each one so it has this background around it and I need to remove the background and now I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click shape fill I'm going to come down here and click on picture I could insert my own photo from the file my my PC but I'm not going to I'm just going to use a stock image because this is just going to create the custom frame and later on we can change it so I'm just going to put in graduation because I'm using this for graduation and let's just see what stock photos they have I'm just going to click on this one doesn't matter I'm going to click on insert and as you can see I have the photo inside the numbers that's just what I want I'm just going to move it up I'm just moving it up love this so now all I have to do now that I have my custom frames I'm just going to go ahead and save this so I'm going to click file I'm going to click save as I'm not saving it on the drive I want to make sure I save it on my PC I'm going to change the location and I'm just going to put it in my downloads and you want to make sure you save this as a PDF has to be as a PDF so I'm just going to change the file name and I'm going to put 2024 custom frame and I already have this as a custom frame I'm just going to type it in as a new frame 2024 custom new frame PDF in my downloads and I'm going to save it so now we're going to hop back into Canva so we're back in Canva and now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click upload and as you can see I already had one here but that's not it alright so this is the original file I'm gonna click upload and as you can see it comes up 2024 custom frame we're going to click open you can see it downloading here but we're gonna go into the projects into the designs because that's where it is and now I'm going to add it to this page and as you can see now we have it 
I'm just going to enlarge it and I have my custom frame okay so this was the original and now this is this one so I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it anymore and now I'm going to show you how you can change it out I was actually going back and forth between my Mac and my my PC when I had to use PowerPoint I had to go into my PC so now as you can see we have our frames now these are all separate I can move them around and not together. If you wanted to make one complete, like a word or something, it has to be connected. Otherwise it will be separated. So now let me show you, I'm just going to go into elements and let's just say we wanted to make this a glitter background. I can come in here and all I'm going to do is just hover over it. So you can do photos, you can do backgrounds, you can change the colors. Let's do different colors, glitter backgrounds. If you want to put some on school colors, you can all right so you can change this into anything that you want all right let's use some school photos and all i'm doing is just hovering over and then if i wanted to i'm going to enlarge it i don't know why the kb is over it like that's weird so if i wanted to enlarge the photo i could to make the face bigger all right so there we go let's get another photo of him this is a photo shoot I did a while ago. I'm just going to click on the image and make it bigger. All right, so now I'm just going to add in the last one. Okay, so now I'm just going to add in the last photo. Put that one into the frame if I can, if it will let me. All right, there we go. I got it in. Okay, so now I'm just going to make sure this is spaced out the way I want it. Make sure it's all even. And now we're going to do the stacked font. So I'm going to type in the word senior. I'm going to bring it over to the middle. Okay, I'm going to use that same font. So now that I have my word typed out, I cannot split this in here. So what I'm going to have to do is add a second page. I'm going to bring my word down to the page over here. Canva makes it a lot of steps, but I'm showing you guys, so some people only use Canva, so I'm showing you guys how to do it in here. I'm going to come up here to the effects tab and I'm going to hollow it out. I'm going to bring down the thickness, bring the thickness all the way down. And now I'm going to save this one. I'm going to title it senior. If I was just doing this inside of any other software, I wouldn't have to worry about this, but I'm showing you how you can now slice the word inside of here. So now I'm just going to save this page as a JPEG or a PNG. So I'm going to come over here and save it, download. I'm going to save it as a PNG transparent background, and I'm going to click off that one. I'm only saving page two. So I'm going to download that one really quick. And now I'm just going to upload it again, upload files download senior open okay so now i'm going to bring it back it's going to come right over here so now i have my image i'm going to enlarge it to the size that i want okay that should be good i'm just sizing it down to the size that i want it to be all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate it i'm going to make sure it's lined up perfectly Okay, so I'm just going to move these letters down for right now out the way so that way I can show you what I'm doing. Let me enlarge this. So now I'm just going to line these up perfectly. I have two copies. I duplicated it just so you guys can see. And it looks like it's lined up pretty good. So now I'm going to crop one right in the center. So now I have one that's just the top. And in this one, I'm going to crop and bring down to the bottom just like so so as you can see now I have top and bottom and they should line up perfectly let me bring this one up just a tad now they line up perfectly so now let's see how these place and I'm just going to group this so it's it can move as one so now I'm going to bring my senior and now I'm just going to put it in position behind the 2024 and begin to stack it. And now all I'm going to do is just mirror. I'm going to copy it and bring it up just like so. I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Now I know it's not exactly the same, 
but it's pretty much. You can use a different font if you want. I was just keeping the same font that I use for the 2024. And then you can change the colors. And there is my custom frame. If I wanted to change the pictures out, I could definitely change the picture out for another girl. I think it looks better with the darker. I only have one photo of her, so I'm just using the same photo. But if you had different photos of a person, you could definitely use different photos. And there's that one. You can play with it. Again, to move the photos around, expand it, move it up however you want. Okay, so that way her face is more visible. It looks really nice. So this is gonna be a template that I'm selling. I'll play with the senior font just to see if this is gonna be the font that I'm gonna keep. But I really like how this is different and stands out. You can customize it, especially if they have sports photos, you can add the sports photos in here as well. Y'all let me know what you guys think if you like this design, if you like this style. But you can also change the color. So like if you wanted to change the color, you can definitely do that. And then you can change the effect. I just had that on there. So you can always change the effect if you want. You can have nothing on there. You can use the solid one. So even if you want to put the solid one back here, you could do that. You can do whatever you want. The solid might look, might look a little better. So let's just say if I wanted to move this one in its place, that might look really dope if I had the solid one back there. Just so you can kind of get an idea of some color. I really like it with the color. I know it's kind of busy because you have all the other stuff back there. If the senior was here without the color, or you could even fade it out, make it transparent a little bit, that would look really, really nice. Or probably just get a font that's just not so busy, a font that's not so busy. So I'll play around with it, but I just definitely want to show you guys how you do it because you can do this all from scratch yourself. You can do this all from scratch. So I can't slice this one because it's still a font. It's not um, a photo. So again, you have to take the font and then save it as a PNG or a JPEG and then bring it back in and slice it. And that's how you can create you know, the stack font. But this was more so about showing you how you can create the custom frames in Canva. So you can take anything as long as it's a solid black vector image, save it as a SVG, save it, convert it as a frame, import your photos, import an image, and bring it back into Canva, and then you'll have your own custom frame that you can change out. Okay, so yeah, so this is how the original one looked. Just want to jump back over there. So I probably would pick a font that's less busy because it's a lot of lines going on. This is the font that I use, the JP Sport. I like this one much better, much better. So if I wanted to make my letters a little bit bigger, like more stand out thicker, so that way the image is wider, because I kind of like it better like that. Yeah, to make it more bolder, that looks really nice. All right, and so now I'm just gonna select that and just shift it just a little bit. There we go. My new template. If you guys like it, let me know. But now let's go ahead and let's add it to a mock-up. Let's add it to a mock-up. But before I do anything, I'm going to save this as a PNG. I'm going to name this 2024 Stacked Frame. And I'm going to save this, of course, as a PNG. And I'm going to download it. So if you're making these, now I have to save this as a PDF as well. So that way, so that way someone else can use this for their own template and that way they can swap out the photos. All right, so now let's insert a mock-up. So now I'm going under apparel and now I have t-shirts. So if I wanted to put this on a t-shirt and let's see, we have an, a, a young girl right here. So now if I wanted to, I'm gonna add a page. If I wanted to use this as Let's resize the frame. Let's go to Instagram posts. 
Okay, and now I have this. I'm gonna enlarge it to the whole entire size of the frame, so that way we can get her nice and big. Okay, so now I'm going to upload my image. I need to upload the entire image because again, you had to save it. So I'm gonna upload the PNG one. And now I'm gonna bring it into, there we go, right on the shirt. So as you can see, I don't like because it's so low, but because her shirt, how the PNG is, that's how it is. Let's find a different mock-up. <laughs> So now, of course, you can get mock-ups from Creative Fabrica as well. I really prefer their mock-ups. They have a lot of awesome flat lays. They have mock-ups with people as well. So let's go back to the uploads. Let's bring our image in. And just like how with the shirts, whenever you see those clouds, that's where it's going to be. So it's uploading. And the one good thing about their, their mock-ups is if it's on a curve, the image looks realistic like it's on a curve with the shirt as well. I just don't like it because it's so far down because technically I wouldn't put my image that far down. So in this video, I taught you how to download from Creative Fabrica. I taught you how to create your own custom frames, how to do the stack font, how to slice it, and how to turn around and do a mock-up inside of Canva. So I hope this video was helpful. Like it, share it if you learned something new, and let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried this and if you're going to. And also, if you want to purchase any of my graduation custom frames, templates that I have already, please check out my website at katrinasgracefulcreations.com. The link is down below in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.